By the 1970s, it was clear burning coal came at a cost. Wherever fuel is burned to generate power, the inevitable, unavoidable result is pollution. Dangerous gases and heavy metals released into the atmosphere. Sulfur dioxide that creates acid rain. Nitrogen oxide, which causes smog. Mercury that contaminates waterways, killing wildlife. And soot, which can trigger asthma and bronchitis. Buck Power Plant had helped change America, but the dark side of coal power could no longer be ignored. The U.S. government responded by introducing the Clean Air Act, designed to reduce pollution by enforcing new standards for industry. In response, Duke Energy built these. They're called precipitators. And inside, there's some pretty cool engineering. The precipitators stretch 110 feet, the entire height of the building. Inside each one is an array of metal plates charged with static electricity. Exhaust gases from the boilers are pumped into the precipitator. These gases are laden with particles of ash and poisonous metals. As this mixture passes between the metal plates, the static electrical charge attracts the dangerous particles so that they cling to the metal while the gases release into the atmosphere. Vibration then frees the ash so that it can be collected below. Now, it's time to tear them down. We're gonna use an excavator. It's basically this 100-foot arm with shears on the end that bite down and take this structure down piece by piece. It takes a lot longer, but it's much more controlled because we don't want anything falling into that electrical over there. Seems almost a bit like David and Goliath. <laughs> this monster precipitator and this guy working this one machine down here. It's amazing to see this process. I mean, you lose perspective. We're about 200 feet away, and he's literally shearing through I-beams to take this apart. For three whole days, the excavator's huge jaws tear at the precipitators, until eventually the giant machines are reduced to scrap. About a month ago, we started taking apart the precipitators with the excavator, and this is all that's left. 